Welcome back and good evening. I'm Kevin McNulty. Northern Michigan Volleyball will be back in Marquette for its home opener this Thursday, part of the UP Open Tournament at NMU. The Wildcats will take the court against Minnesota Crookston, a team the Wildcats have gone undefeated against in their seven meetings against each other. NMU is coming off a historic 2022 season, which saw them finish 23-9 and fall in the first round of the NCAA tournament. So expectations are high as the Wildcats have a group of strong returners mixed with a few incoming freshmen that hope to add a boost on both offense and defense. Head coach Mike Lozer spoke today on how the team is working to balance school and volleyball this time of year. Team's in good spirits. We scrimmaged at Michigan Tech on Saturday. It went really well. Um, I think the anxiousness of season like starting and being here is um, is very real. Balancing the stresses of school and your sport are, are very important and having kind of a healthy relationship with the two is really important and so um, we do our best to prioritize uh, academics for them um, but ultimately I think they're really excited to open our season at home on Thursday and kind of get the season going. Lozier added that opening the season at home with the home crowd is a very exciting feeling. The Wildcats will take the floor at 7 p.m. on Thursday. As for Michigan Tech Volleyball, the Huskies will open this season at home before joining NMU and the others at the UP Open on Friday. Tech is coming off a 20 and 10 season in 2022 when the team finished fifth in the GLIAC. The Huskies welcome Winona State to town on Thursday, a worthy non-conference test before their two early season tournaments. Head coach Matt Jennings is entering his 12th season at the head of the program, and he says his players are ready for a marathon this weekend after the work they put in over the summer and in the preseason. It goes all into the preseason. This is, you know, you get two weeks of preseason and then you go. Um, a lot of our players were here over the summer working hard and, and working out in the weight room and with each other out there on the court, so I feel like we're, we're pretty prepared that way. Um, you know, I think with a relatively young team, um, this, uh, this kind of load of, of matches early on uh, ought to be a good test for us, but uh, I feel like we're pretty fresh this season considering uh, how we're feeling going into the first uh, weekend. The Huskies were picked fourth in the GLIAC preseason poll voted on by the league's head coaches. And more college sports news today with the GLIAC announcing the women's and men's cross-country preseason polls. First, on the women's side of things, Tech and NMU were tabbed fourth and fifth in the conference, respectively, by the head coaches. Neither school received a first place vote. Moving on over to the men's poll, where the Huskies were slated third, NMU does not field a men's team. Now, for Tech, their men's team has a little bit of hype surrounding it, heading into this season, earning a first place vote in the poll as well. They'll open up the year with the Uper Skirmish in Houghton this Saturday morning. And let's check in on some high school volleyball scores from tonight. First, Jeffers handled Lakeland and Hubble in straight sets after surviving a scare in set two. Also, Ironwood took down Bessemer three zip. Elsewhere, Manistique was victorious over Gladstone three sets to none. Remember to send us those scores each night. 